Hello, hello, and welcome at Chesscom Twitch channel and also Chesscom YouTube channel. Welcome, everybody. My name is Katie. I am a woman green master from Georgia. My last name is a bit complicated. I will say that once. And okay, you can also see on the screen this is Katie Tazalashvili. Uh, I am a streamer at Let's Just Live. This is our channel. I do stream with my friends and I am so honored to be here and hosting Kings Arena, Arena Kings today. So you guys can see already the, the uh, players on the screen. Here we have the players registered already. And of course, we have, we have those players who are uh, playing usually here. So we have Hikaru here. We have Eric from Chasbra. Also, we have exotic princess. This is Jovi uh, from Georgia. I saw him uh, earlier uh, warming up a little bit with puzzles. <laughs> and we also have Alexandra Kostunik, former world champion, woman world champion. So I plan to follow all those players I mentioned earlier and some of those who you uh, suggest. So if you want me to follow some of your friend's game or and someone who you support please write in the chat i'm here to read the chat as well and i hope we're gonna hang out and we're gonna have a good time i hope my voice is fine i really hope that uh and the games will start in less than uh two minutes so before that let's let's take a look at the um, prices uh so uh we have price fund here uh 700 dollars per event so the in this event we have $700. First place will get $200. Second place will get $150. Third place will get $100. We have special prizes under $2,000 and under $1,600 rated players. And those are $50. And there is a prize also for best streamer. Not so bad, right? Okay. Um, next week will be royal kings arena kings so that's something really huge so here please take a look at the price fund so in total there is six thousand dollars price fund first place the winner will get five hundred dollars second place will get three hundred fifty dollars and two hundred uh fifty is for third place uh also there is some special prices in those categories you can see on the screen and there is a prize also for best streamer i hope you guys enjoy this uh this uh, arena total price fund is twenty thousand uh dollars and the question is why i have not played it earlier like why i have not played it earlier we already have first game started uh let me get um this on the screen and here we have Hikaru playing against Jose. Jose is from uh, Peru. He's uh, Peru. His rating is 2900 on chess.com. Those both are amazing uh, players. I have seen a couple of games of, of both players and I don't know who's your favorite in here who do you support but let the best win. Um, as I know uh, Hikaru is streaming and I was observing his um, stream earlier. Uh, I don't know about Hossa if he's streaming, if he's a streamer, if you have any information, please share guys. Hello, Santa, hello, hello, welcome. I'm so good to have some known faces here. I was a bit scared because usually I stream on, stream on my channel, Let's Just Live, and uh, there are people who support our channel so much and we hang out so much together. So I was like, oh my God, there's gonna be new people there. I don't know how it's gonna what's gonna happen there. All right. Um. So, is there someone who you support, or um, you know, you just want to see good games? Um. All right. All right. Uh, let me check one thing. Uh, before I go deep to the. Oh, this is this is quite messy over here. Okay, let me check the board. Let me check the board and fix this. I think to have a bar is okay. It's it's okay to have a bar, so we will see evolution. Um, and we can also fix the standings. Let me get in there quickly. 
I hope for the next uh, rounds that's gonna be um, less complicated. All right, all right. Let's get this here. Okay. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Okay, let's check this out. Is that any better? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Um, plus details of being perfected here, perfection here. Okay, great. I think it's great. I think it's great. Um, so meanwhile, many things happen. They are playing quite fast. They are playing so fast. Three minutes uh, is the time control. No increment. This is so tricky. When there's no increment, I have a problem. <laughs> a lot of problems. So uh, they are playing quite fast. I think it's now time to learn how to play fast and how to play good. So still we are in the position of Hikaru on Hase. Um, uh, Hase is with white pieces, Hikaru with uh, black pieces. We have an isolated pawn and here we know that in isolated pawn it's very important for both sides to have active pieces. This pawn is not blocked yet so it might be quite dangerous if black managed to push this pawn and sacrifice this pawn. We want some blood here, we want some blood here. And opens this bishop which attacks g2 pawn. The rooks are already doubled on e file. Queen is right, uh, also active. Knight? Is the knight good piece here? Mm. Yeah, I would say, I would say, um, oh, oh, look at the bar. Okay, seems like white just uh, played a really bad move now, so it's bar dramatically went down. Uh, yeah, to play this rook here um, might, might be dangerous because it's pinned now knight f4 makes sense g2 pawn is hanging i think i think white has problems white has problems <laughs> um yeah i think I, I think everything is right you can see the board it won't be changed for the next game all right the game ended and higaru won that game and next what we're gonna see uh is um Pandorin, this is Maxim, right? Is Maxim uh, against Alexandra, uh, chess queen? Alexandra is also streaming. Uh, that's what she usually does, like playing and streaming at the same time. <laughs> this is really magical for me. Yet I don't understand how these people are doing that at the best level. So we have this position. Um, uh, what is the line? Isn't it English? It started with English opening at the beginning. They're playing so fast. C4 says that it's English opening. So uh, yeah, we have this uh, setup position. I don't know which color you prefer here, but myself, I would like here to play with black pieces because I kind of feel that these pawns here create more space uh, for the pieces and all the pieces are on the board. So this is really nice here. Uh, Alexandra should keep the pieces uh, to use this uh, space. And on the other hand, white should try to uh, change some some pieces pair of knights or bishop why not if not then this i would be really afraid of f4 move i would really really afraid afraid of f4 move and here we have here we have usually i like to comment commentate uh, women's game because this is what i usually get the bump moves uh so we have similar kind of um style like we like to attack we like to to do some tactics on the board I really like to see Alexandra's games. Do you guys have some favorite in this tournament? I see, I see some results. In the first game, uh, Alexandra lost her um, uh, point. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. So this is already the second second round. <laughs> He's it already the second round. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, 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 what I'm talking. What I'm talking. So this is Arena. Some of players already won uh, the three games. Three out of three. Here we have a player with three out of three and two out of two. Oh, they are fast. They are really fast. Uh, once again, if you have your friend here, just uh, let me know in the chat. And I will follow. Uh, I will follow that player. Who? Nima Ami is your favorite? Is playing here? Let me quickly check. Let me quickly check. Hmm. 
And if you have any guess who, who will win this arena, that's also uh, a topic that we can discuss. This position is, um, is uh, better for, for white according to the bar that we have on this side. This is really helpful for me <laughs> to see this bar. Um, so, but on the other hand, black is trying, black is trying to set up some, some fire on the king side still. Um, but mm, that's gonna be really tricky. White has an extra pawn and really active rook on seventh rank. This is so dangerous. Rook on seventh rank is mostly very very dangerous in the end game. But if it's in if it's even in in middle game, that's that's okay. That's still better. So second pawn was eaten by white here. And let's see let's see what's Alexandra's plan. If she doesn't do, maybe she wants to uh, uh, play next move bishop here on f3 just to weaken the light squares. Oh, what? Is that working? Huh? Is that working? Can I take fe here? This is really interesting. So he sacrificed a um, bishop, and okay, and this is a really tricky position. The bar says that White has winning position, and bishop g two no check anymore, no checkmate. Black has not enough pieces on the board. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Georgian immigrant in Canada. Okay, hello, 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 Kamerjeva. Good to see Georgian people. Um, okay, maybe we can just move next game because this is pretty much clear. This is pretty much clear. Too many pieces are hanging. I think yeah, next piece also were was captured here. Yeah, we have a resignation. This is really smart to resign here and just to play next game. So you have to play as much as possible. Um, Let's go next piece. Azer, Azeru, Azeru, who? Eric, I'm, Eric has, he's, he's streaming. I think he's streaming. I think he's streaming. Eric is quite strong uh, in Grandmaster. Uh, and we have this really interesting position. I need, I need some time to, <laughs> to evaluate the position so quickly. Yeah, okay, this pawn is, this pawn is extra. This pawn is extra here. Uh, white has quite active knights. White has quite active knights. Okay, white has to watch out this square because there's gonna be check, very unpleasant check. Um, the thing is that white's pieces are really, really active. Even there is no pawn on e file. Um, was that necessary? What happens after queen f2? Queen f2, king goes back on h1, and queen e3, for example. Can I do that to uh, empty the square for night here? Yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Can black if if black captures this knight, then will be the mate on the first rank. Hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Hi, Nico. Hi. So what? What can? Wait, this was this was the end. Okay, this was the end. So here White uh, resigned. Uh, let's check out Hikaru's game once once more. Not f3 c5. This is interesting account. This is interesting account. <laughs> nice name. Uh, so what is this position? Uh, Hikaru plays with white pieces and he has already at this moment he has an extra pawn but um, I would be really, really scared of these dark squares and the bishop. Hmm. How would you like here, uh, white's position? Yeah, knight and queen are so active. Knight and queen are very active. Of course, black has to keep the queen on the board. Hmm. That's tricky. That's tricky. Black is really, really passive and probably losing a piece now. No, no, queen c5 saves the piece but after trading this um a7 and then d6 
that's going to be really, really hard. Oh, carrot. Hi, carrot. Hi. Hi, perp. <laughs> Gamer Joe perp. So we are let's just people here. Very good. I don't feel alone. I, I, I'm not scared anymore. OK, this game ended and we have next game starting right now. Hikaru plays d4 first move and bishop g5. Let's see. I also played this kind of setup. Let's see what he chooses. So he's not going really main lines here. This is what usually um, uh, plays are doing in blitz uh, uh, format of time and getting the um, center already. I love to have center. I really love to have center. Although this bishop f6, hmm, was it really necessary? Maybe it was necessary. Maybe it was necessary because e4 pawn was hanging. Um, so yeah this this one i'm not really sure black has here pair of bishop but position is really close so uh this bishop is not playing here yet neither this bishop so for the moment there is not um such term like such just such such thing uh pair of bishop advantage white ha black has to prove that um Uh, bishop c8, this is very uh, typical move here when bishop is on b7 and against this pawn and this pawn usually doesn't does nothing. So black always likes to transfer the bishop somewhere here on the king side and start to attack on the king side. I think that's a good plan to start the king, uh, white king, because and open up a little bit of the um, position. I think that's Just looking something something exciting. Let's move here in this game. Patrick FM against Eric Hansen. Interesting position. Interesting position. Black has a um, isolated pawn, which is well blocked by the queen. I know that the queen is the worst blocker, but we don't have here knights. So the best blocker is a knight. Then comes bishop. Then uh, rook and the queen is the least uh, blocker. But okay, it stops the position. Um, hard to win this pawn. Hard to win this pawn unless my opponent, <laughs> unless the opponent blunders. Uh, if both sides are just playing some moves, I think it might be a draw. Or maybe White can even win this with G four. What does White think? Can I win here with G four? Can I go? That's interesting. G four. Here we have. We wanted blood. We have a blood. <laughs> Very good. So I think bishop uh, e6 makes no sense. First to take on d4 makes some sense. Bishop e6 now. And what happens if I capture this with a queen? Of course with a queen. Now b7 pawn is uh, hanging with a check. Bishop endgame, same color bishop. There's no question it's winning with extra two pawns. Also, this pawn is blocked on uh, light square. So black is now going in passive. This is not good. This is not good. And there is no single check. Uh, oof. Okay. I think we're, there, there are going to be resignations soon. Okay. We have resignation. Let's move to the next game. I will quickly check. Maybe this one. Back to Hikaru's game. Hold on. What happened? How he got the queen? <laughs> How he got the queen? Can we check that quickly? Ah. Okay. Let's do it very quickly. So here, f f five. Okay, Black wanted to set up some attack on the king side, but without a, a light square bishop, that's gonna be really, really challenging. And that's how White won the queen. Okay, this guy is a master. Yeah, bishop and rook versus queen and many pawns, two pawns with big king. That's that's. I think no chance here to survive, but still, um, this is a blitz game. Why not to continue? And this pawn is just going to queen. Yeah. Hold on, can I? It, what is it winning? It's it's probably winning. It's probably winning because it's on this side. Okay. Whew. <laughs> it's winning, but it's 
at some point I was like, wait, he blundered this? Okay, next one. Let's go back to you, uh, Chess Queen and Wondering. Wait, they are playing versus each other all the games? Strong players are playing strong players. This is, this is interesting. This is interesting. <laughs> um, so we have already some of the players with 5 out of 5. This is really nice. This is really nice. Um, Hikaru has 4 out of uh, 4. The winning key is unstoppable. And there are many, many players with 4 out of 4. Okay, so here we have uh, end game. The end game is—is is this end game when queens are still on the board? That's the—that's the question. That's the question. But we have opposite color of bishop, and this is really interesting position. Um, white has a pawn. White has a pawn, but in second pawn already. This is gonna be really tricky to take here because there is checkmate here on d8. I think that's gonna be really really interesting. I want to take a uh, take take a look at the game of this player. Maybe you can see some low rated players. Uh, you guys, if you have any suggestions, just let me know in the chat. Somehow I'm following the chat, but not so easy to follow. Uh, let me check some other games um, as well. This is interesting to see uh, the, the play Anatoly. Okay, let's see Anatoly. Anatoly. Maybe I just follow him. Maybe I just follow him and I will be just. Okay. Okay, so this is the players uh, 2000 rated. And. They are, wait, they are not going for the price, right? Because it's under 2000. Hmm. So tricky, so tricky. So we have this London system position. I think many of you in the chat are London players. So this bishop here probably came from f4 and knight here. On e5 usually it's a very typical of London system. Yeah, the knight is really strong here, really, really strong. Somehow I really miss a bishop on d3. It, there should be a light square bishop on d3 to attack the king and, um, you know, make some danger. Uh, I think now black is fine. Just black needs to uh, simplify position. Um, f6, who is this? Hang in. How can white uh, save this knight? Might save this knight. How to spell my last name? I knew that question would come. I knew that question would come. <laughs> I know, I know. So it's very easy. It's very easy. Let me tell you something. So first part and the second part are the same. This is easy, right? Uh, and the last part is very typical for uh, Georgian people, if you know some Georgian players. So it is Tata Lashvili. Not hard. Not very hard. But I knew that question was coming, not only once, I just saw it now. <laughs> okay, is this knight hanging? Yes, it's hanging. Wow. Okay. So if black captures, white captures here, and white has already um, draw, I guess? King of eight will be really, really dangerous will be just, I don't know, gasoline and fire. No way, Black gonna play this. Now Black is thinking to, to take it and accept draw or just to play king h8 and um, just ignore the fact that the rook is on g6 and continue to play. Watch out, watch out this pawn. It's not only pawn, it's also a checkmate. Can I make this? Please. Uh, queen was hanging, okay, queen f5. This knight is hanging now. I I think I think black could take on g g six and just accept the draw there. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think we can... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, white can capture this. White can play bishop h4 is just best. Bishop h4 is really, really best. Oh, this is... Mm. This is hard for black, I guess, to play mm, this game already, but... What is really, really good thing... Check it. Uh, after each game, you can, you know, come back and analyze it and uh, learn how you should play. This is really nice combination. Okay, next game started. Um, let me check, let me check uh, other players as well. Oh, I, oh, I don't know none of those players. Unfortunately, I don't. How Joby is doing? Can we can we check Joby? Exotic Princess. Joby versus uh, Eric. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's quite challenging to have such a long name. <laughs> Not easy to pronounce even for Georgians. I had some issues to pronounce it when I was little, but I mastered in it. <laughs> yeah. And guys, we use different alphabet as well, Georgian alphabet, and that's what per Perpetual Stalemate um, commented. That's how my last name looks like in Georgian. Uh, chess is a very popular sport. Chess is really, really popular sport because of the world champions, Nana Kaprindashvili and Maya Chiburdante. Chess was such a uh, like game that everybody wanted to, to play. Um, I think that's why I played chess because my grandma was crazy about chess and she wanted to have a daughter to, you know, to teach her chess. But she has two boys and I'm the firstborn child in the family. And that's how it was very much decided at the beginning <laughs> that I will be a chess player. I think because of Nana and Maya. It's uh, yeah, a huge cult of chess in, in Georgia and also... Uh, it's also worth to mention, like everybody says, like because it's world champions and so on and so on, we have a very strong female team. We have very, very strong female team. Winner of Olympiad and world, uh, lots of world events as well. So, yeah. yeah. And we have uh, four, four female grandmasters. In the world nowadays, there are 17, 17 uh, grandmasters, female players who hold this title. And four of them are Georgian, so I think Georgia, yeah, chess is, chess is a sport, national sport in Georgia. All right, how is Joby doing here? He was warming up <laughs> for this game and make, doing some puzzles. I was watching his stream. I was watching his stream. I think he is okay, not good, not good indeed because of the active rook, rook active, rook uh, control c file, and also this pawn is is really strong, supported by the bishop. Oh, okay, okay, knight e2 really saved the position, but now bishop has to go somewhere. Hmm, knight might come back on d4 in that case. Would I put the under the screen? I, I, I missed that. <laughs> uh, my name? Wait, it's, it's, it's there. It's there. Here. Here. It should be here. <laughs> It should be here. There. Um, let me fix this a little bit. Okay. Really good. It's good. Um, okay, so let's take a look again once again the standings while uh they are playing. Um so Joby won this game. Really? You want it? 
Hmm. Okay, there was there was some mating threats. Mating threats. I think it's here is one because of the thing. Mm, it was a blunder. Okay. So this setup is quite um, quite popular in, and common in online to play uh, with Fianca to be shifts both sides. You just play very fast and you don't want to, you know, be really fancy. You just want to develop your pieces, control the center and wait your opponent to make a mistake. That's what I usually do. Uh, do we have some interesting games maybe? Oh, this one is really interesting. This one is really, really interesting. So. Um, Material is equal. White <laughs> just sacrificed a rook here. I would not take it without anything, and I would just castle here. Yeah, here what happened. But after bishop f5, why not bishop f5? No, maybe bishop f5? Ooh, all right, all right. Yeah, and resignation here. Rook takes, and bishop takes, and white has a material extra. And we have a resignation. Um. Okay. This guy, maybe we can follow this guy. Seven out of seven. Let's go, let's follow this guy. He's going for a price. Um Okay, we have him on the board. Seven out of seven. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. <laughs> he is playing against Chadongos. Chadongos? From Indonesia and he's from Brazil. Are you guys from Indonesia or Bra Brazil? Anyone? <laughs> Let's see. Oof. This is French defense, or maybe it comes from um um uh, Karukan. Karukan. E4 C5. E4 C6 is Karukan uh, defense. Or maybe French. This is a pretty much French uh, pawn structure. French uh, pawn structure. So here, here, uh, Black usually suffers with light square bishop, but it's gone now. And um, there might be some like tactics with knight f4, and knight. Oh no, not this one. Not this one. Oh no. I know that knight should be on f4 to create some uh, some threats. And if pawn is f4, then there's no, no, no danger at all so black at anyway should look this move and should capture with e pawn there's no question should capture this pawn and now i think black has uh, a really good play on the queen side watch out this pawn is oh wait what is hanging queen is hanging okay queen b3 a5 maybe all right I don't know what do you guys think this might end in a draw maybe this position or still uh one side can win queen goes back on d3 now knight is hanging oof this is a blunder knight is hanging and pawn is hanging that was a blunder Shema, Shema. hello hello everyone from georgia from poland a5 what are you guys serious? F5? This knight is hanging, right? And he goes for F5. <gasps> okay. It's good that we came here. <laughs> it's good that we came here. All right. Now, the pawn is hanging with a check. The rook is hanging. Knight is hanging, not anymore. And bishop is hanging. Too many pieces are hanging. Rook F7 here, I guess. No. I can guess a move. Hmm. I would take rook f7 here, and after rook g7, there is queen g6. I think that's what why it did not save, but that's okay. That is okay. Yeah, ping pong with the ball. <laughs> it's like a tennis tennis game, right? You have to watch <laughs> side to side all the time. <laughs> yeah. White is still now winning, not anymore. Oh my god, what's happening? Wait, why were 
was winning, C6 pawn is hanging. Okay, now what? Okay, this knight is just, I don't know, just a knight there, doing nothing at all for game. Knight, back to the game, bring the knight. Bring the knight somewhere if you have a time, but you don't have a time. White is winning, rook takes f5. No, rook takes f5, queen takes h5. Come on, take on f5. Let's, let's shout harder, maybe he would understand us. Oh wow, I think white still have a chance to take on f5. Come on, take on f5. Take on f5, queen takes and e6. This bishop should be open. Queen sacrifice is coming. He's, he's preparing us for queen sacrifice. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. e6, okay, okay. Maybe we're getting there. All right, this is winning for white. Why was winning for white? Hmm. Okay, the, the point is that this bishop is still very active. Wow. Actually, I've never seen a game where, where the bar goes so, so often up and down. I've never seen a game like this. <laughs> it's so so interesting this is so interesting there are tactics on any move there are tactics on any move i think we're gonna see this game at puzzles one day i do stream i do stream on Let's live you guys can see here on the yellow um yellow um letters uh the name of my channel that's where i stream with my friends we are three streamers uh a grandmaster who is still international master and who is you know trying to get his rating to 2500 i am uh, myself and we also have an unrated player uh who is just training and playing on on stream and he's improving so much and he's really really fun guy so i hope you guys um uh join us one day and you will enjoy also our stream we just started about three months ago to stream and we like to do it we like to do it so it's okay this this guy has eight out of oh let me get back this one um here time to time i'm losing these uh, standings please forgive me that um we have another guy with not nine out of nine i think we have to follow him as well why not let's follow him as well oh i love this knight here so knights versus bishops. This is really interesting. I would like here to to play with black pieces, and I think and I believe that knights are way much better um, than bishops. And those this is one of those positions where knights are actually better than bishops. I think I think uh, the bar is not showing much here. It's like minus zero forty, uh, but for positional player, it's I, I think it's enough. Oof, that's that's a weakness here. That's a weakness here. Knight c4. If bishop takes, that's interesting how to capture it. You can capture with b, I guess. Knight c3. Black just got the pawn. Black just got the pawn. These knights are just like, um, just like octopus. <laughs> octopus like. <laughs> they are controlling all the squares look at these guys look at this they are controlling all the squares okay it's not allowed me to do it but that's reminds me of this don't play 92 yeah i think we we have we will have resignation here soon because uh black got uh, a lot of material material so um
Who is next? Who we are following? Let's let's go back to Hikaru's games. Oh, I love this king here on f3. King is so good to be active in the endgame. So good. Yes, the channel's name is Let's Just Life. We're yeah, we're very creative to have that name. <laughs> We are very. I don't know what's more weird, the name of of the channel or my last name, <laughs> but that's it. That's it. What it is. So black is winning here. Next move. Why not the queen? Okay, there will be a queen soon. So how many points Hikaru has? Uh, nine out of nine. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna play this event for sure next week. Actually, this is the first time that I'm streaming at this time, and I usually I am very sleepy during this time. Usually, I'm very sleepy, uh, but not today. Not today. I had a nap before this event. So, oh, I like this battery. I always like to play this kind of um, moves and then start to attack on the uh, king side with h pawn. Here we have it. Yeah, this is really easy to play. This is really really easy. Now, uh, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen h3. That's it. That's it. Checkmate. And I, I always like to recall the uh, quote of um, Bobby Fischer that he likes to play with h pawn, open the file, check, check, and mate. That's that's what what's gonna happen here in this game. <laughs> okay, king on the queen side. Uh, I think black black has here really good position. Maybe long. Even. Super pawn is hanging. Yeah, I think Picaro will win this game. Uh, meanwhile, we can uh, we can go to the other game. Let me quickly uh, check some other interesting positions. I think this is this is interesting setup. This is interesting setup. White is so aggressive here. Oof, this is something. I think. There will be something here on this uh, pin, on this file. Queen war, queen b5. Queen b5 wins the uh, piece. Why not? Cha cha. Is that cha cha that I know cha cha or it's a dancing cha cha? <laughs> Mike, what? Uh, my my voice is cutting. Or maybe it's bad. bad um, it's my bad, maybe. I don't know. So uh, Black here is thinking and he's trying to save the knight. I think best is to capture this knight here and uh, the match the king on uh, c1, the king uh, queen side. But here we have resignation. I think those players just just want to play next game, not to not to lose on time. Mike is fine. Great. This is my f biggest fear that, like, mo when I started to stream, my mic was not working. Like it was not hearable at all. <laughs> so it was always my biggest fear. Uh, all right. This is next game, and here we have Dutch defense. Is anybody here playing Dutch defense? I think this is really really aggressive opening. Uh, and myself, uh, I like when black goes with d65 at some point. Let's see how black will decide. Or you can also go d5 here uh, and just to play with stonewall. Stonewall is is strong, is strong. Hold on, can I take it? Knight takes, knight takes, and g5 is hanging. That's going to be interesting. Pawn should take. Okay, okay. Knight will take now probably, or bishop f6 is also possible. All right, bishop e7 should be taken. And after queen e4, there's a check here. Here we have a check. Here we have a check. Interesting. Uh, I would I would consider here rook f3 if this is a classical game, but in blitz it's better to play this kind of moves, which it just it guarantees you to take two pawns actually, and you know you just play fast. Uh, when you have when you're playing three minutes without increment, it's better to to play this fast, not to lose time for some sacrifices. <laughs> That's how I usually lose the game that I'm 
getting into some some very crazy lines and then I'm losing on time. So we have 77 more minutes to go and 1366 participants. This is the biggest arena <laughs> ever I have seen. Really, 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 really. We're doing arenas too almost like every day on our stream, but oh my god, we always have two numbers. <laughs> There were four numbers. So, okay, maybe we can actually check the other game here. A black has pretty much winning position. Maybe we can uh, check uh, other guys. Um, okay, let's check out how Alexandra is doing. Title United Twitch. I think it's a streamer. Do you guys know who is it? Second biggest fear after I'm not I'm not afraid of spiders to be honest I'm not afraid of spiders my biggest fear is um, flights <laughs> I'm afraid I'm freaking afraid every time I have flights um, I tried many things I tried some medicines to calm down I even tried some alcohol nothing really helps nothing really really helps so I am facing that during this pandemic time I had two or three flights and i had no fear at all i just wanted so much to have that flight but it was like no fear at all but yeah your daughter's future oh that's so sweet that's so sweet yeah i would try to walk for sure for sure yeah from georgia <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if I if I live in Europe, I, I think I would never never uh, use flight in in European countries. Uh, but the the main challenge is, for example, when when you when I have flights to Asia, this is so challenging. Twelve hours flights or nine hours flights, this is so big. So here we have um, um, Karakan Karakan defense. Um, one of my favorite setup and queen f3 is really interesting here queen comes quickly on g3 and attacks on g7 which stops a little bit king side development but on the other hand you also white also lost some time piece here with queen so c5 is really really correct approach here to uh, start a uh, play on the uh, queen side i think now um white should go at some point a6 here not to allow knight b5 and knight d6 um i feel like white well, black is fine a6 queen c7 bishop can also develop here and black can go for long castle why not why not this not this pawn will be hanging after queen c7 knight e7 knight e4 hmm. yeah e5 pawn is hanging it's always hanging like it looks really strong pawn, but at some point when you play more and more games, you just realize that it might be a weakness at some point. You never flew? Never, never, never? Where are you from? Where do you live? Oh, wow. Actually, I had a, I had a captain. Um, and who was very afraid of flights and he took a bus for five days i guess to, to reach reach the destination that's so ridiculous five days in the bus on the other hand it's also interesting maybe you can just travel like that but five days in the bus huh. oh, something went wrong here really something went wrong white can play it now knight d6 check bishop has to take and i think rook takes d6 this is really dangerous now with black something went wrong i think b5 was not um the move that black would play second time <laughs> c3 castle looks good okay this also makes sense with this is with tempo and g7 now it ha it's hanging let's take it of course uh, to take on f7 is going to be really tricky because after rook f8 that's going to be 
um, check here and we don't want that. We, we don't want that. So um, bishop e3 looks nice to me. Castle also might be good. Maybe castle here. Yeah. Now uh, black's king is more or less safe and white king has a challenge where, where to go. Queen c5, again the pawn. Don't take it with a queen, don't take it, because there will be an intermediate check here and white or black will lose um queen. Okay, this this game is really interesting. Three months by ship. Okay, this is another thing, like um Ship is also so dangerous. Like water is so dangerous to you. Water is really, really dangerous to you. I used once ferry for Athens to Creta to islands when I was eight years old. I was so so scared. But it was with my mom, and with my mom, his life is better, much better. And then I used for the second time when I was twelve years old, and it was really scary. I don't know what I'm more afraid of: ferry and sea or flight in a plane. Born in Sweden and living in Australia. So um, you had one flight, at least one flight. You had it. <laughs> Austria. Ah, oh, sorry, Austria. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then it makes sense. Um, Black has here, I think, some edge because of the pawn, but... Okay, I'm taking my butt back. The pawn is going... I think white cannot survive here. Let's check the time. Time is all more or less equal. Can I... If I push this, bishop takes, king takes, and king g3, king stops this pawn. So rook should play... Oh. oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. He bl she blundered this age one. Uh, shall we move to the next game, maybe? Uh, this looks a uh, really nice position. This looks really nice. Wow, this looks really, really nice. So here we have very strong battery. 94 was played. Can I capture this and then capture an f6? Why to sacrifice? Is there something that I don't see? I would take here and take here then. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Who sounds better? That's that's really tricky position. Um, this knight is really strong. I think it should be captured. On the other hand, this uh, bishop controls the king. Maybe now rook g3 check. And. Really interesting position. I don't know which color would you prefer here, white or black. I think I would, I would prefer to play with um, white, especially now. <laughs> I don't know what's the secret. Okay, rook g6 maybe. You cannot take because there is a checkmate. Also, rook g8 makes sense. Now rook h8 is a checkmate, and the question is how black can defend it. Can black defend this checkmate? I doubt that. I really doubt that. Oof, that's a hard moment. Okay, bishop here, rook takes. Queen takes. He wants to pawn here. Because there is a hope here. Rook takes a five, probably next move. And I would play g4. Oh, is that Swiller? <laughs> he had a photo of Swiller, right? Who's the guy? Somebody knows who is it? <laughs> um, meanwhile, I will check next game. And also, uh, I'll check the standings. Um, 11 out of 11. 
11 out of 11 he's going for a prize for sure and 12 out of 12 for hikaru yeah analyzing gag gag gas analyzing let's follow him he is one of the leaders so if I play in this arena, I will play among my rating category, right? I will not play against Hikaru. Hmm, maybe I should try. <laughs> my rating uh, dropped dramatically here while I start streaming in Blitz uh, from 23 something uh, to 21. Because I usually play um, almost in every arena. And when I started to do streams, I was playing so much rated games. And seems like I was not winning that much. Uh, but my bullet rating is quite okay. I'm happy with that. Um, I think I have good chances to play in this arena. <laughs> Hikaru, against, Hikaru against Alexander. Let's go. Thanks for, for that information. Thanks for that information. All right. This is, this is really good. This is really good. You guys, who is the board? Who is the board? Mm, I I don't know. I love I love both players. Hikaru is so amazing. But Alexandra is a is a girl. I always support girls. I don't know why. Um She and she's also very strong. Um E5 pawn was captured and now G6 pawn is captured. After taking here uh and on E5, then this rook will be hanging as well. Oh no, he doesn't want that. I doubt this move really. Then bishop comes and this pawn will be a target. Uh huh, this was her idea. Okay, my bad. Um, now white can capture and capture on f5 or immediately f5 is also working, I guess. Right? If pawn takes, then white takes this bishop, knight, queen takes, and uh, bishop d5 wins. I think, I think it was a big big mistake not to capture g6 bishop and allow white to have so active pieces hmm. i know i know have you seen guys that video when alexander defeated magnus in blitz <laughs> that's one my one of my uh, favorite blitz videos yeah actually it's it was not a mistake like at the in the end of the game in that video Magnus played uh, a rook and then he wanted to change and Alexander said no, no, no. But anyway, with either rook he was losing. Like, with any move Alexander was winning, so she's a really strong uh, player. Oh, that's the question. That's the question uh, that is asked so much. I don't know, guys, if you really... Um, I think that there should not be a woman grandmaster title maybe uh, i i personally think that it supports uh girls in chess to have this title if there is no this title then it will be really really hard to get some conditions for the tournaments and to continue to play and usually for uh for um, women it's really challenging to play chess after some 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 age uh and because there's huge gap huge huge gap uh, in the price funds um and i think the title that we have now this for female players keeps uh, most of the players in the game but that's my opinion i don't know maybe you guys have another opinion as well um hmm. was it really necessary to to sacrifice back this queen Okay, this is very, very easy win here. King g4, rook captures here, and you can pre-move then. Okay. So Hikaru won this game 13 out of 13. And this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, let's go back here. Uh, Scandinavian, is it Scandinavian? Will he play a3, bishop a2, bishop e1 here? <laughs> mm. 
GGM title, Girl Scream Master. <laughs> Sounds good though. Sounds good. This is a really interesting position with H3 pawn. This H3 pawn uh, somehow stabs white to castle on the short side because, um, okay, if you're not Hikaru, <laughs> Hikaru is not afraid. I see he's not afraid. I would be afraid to castle here on this side with this pawn. Um, pawn. Now the question is how black will follow up here. And that's the question. Well, quite um, calm position. Maybe we can find something else. You guys want to check out the pawn endgame? Pawn endgame is one of my favorite endgames. Uh, but here, this one is pretty much winning for white. And all white is doing is just to get uh, this pawn. And then other side, white has too many extra pawns. And I think we're going to have resignation soon. The time is uh, not an issue for white here. Um, and we're gonna have a checkmate soon. And, oh, this is really nice, really, really nice. White has really good technique. White has really, really good technique. A uh, player from Israel. Mm. Okay, this game ended. Really nice. Oh, f6 here, and then rook d6. Okay. Let's check out again uh, Eric and Joby. Bishop d6. I like this bishop controlling the um, whole board. I look like... Oh my god. <laughs> you know how many times I've, I've been told that I look like Sofika? From my childhood, I've been told so much, so many times. Um, and I was like, why there is telling me so? And then at some point I realized that both Georgians are looking so similar. <laughs> That's why people are asking me this. exactly one hour uh left and let's see if players will you know keep up with the energy uh, usually when i play arenas for like two hours um i never played those two hours arena. i think i think i played one hour arena i usually do it like with music and lots of tea uh, and some breaks too um but I think they are not taking any breaks. This is interesting. This is really, really interesting position. Uh, there's only rook and two pawns uh, for queen, but those pawns are really active, really, really active. So white might give the bishop, dark square bishop for the pawn. Okay, rook b7, that's the only way way to uh, avoid bishop e7 move i don't see the way how white can stop it maybe bishop d3 yeah maybe bishop d3 um can can i may i <laughs> Black to move, black is thinking they, to play rook d7 or not to play rook d7. I think he should play this move. Ah, rook, after rook d7, you guys, there is this intermediate check. King takes and then uh, there will be two bishops versus rook. So uh, black here decided to keep the rook on the board and to play this kind of position and probably to push this pawn next. I doubt this. I doubt this. I don't think this is the best. Uh, bishop f1 and bishop c4 is coming here. If this bishop comes in the game and gets active, the queen is extra <laughs> on the board. So black will have some issues to defend this. Ah, oh, no. No, no, no. Jobby missed it.
a rook d7 and there was queen f6 move was it yeah maybe there was defense maybe okay. now it's up to the technique uh what white can do uh for sure is to activate this bishop because on g2 it does not make anything uh bishop should go on this uh diagonal to attack these two squares this is most dangerous squares for uh black and then to push the pawn and here we have resignation this is actually good a solution to resign in this kind of positions um when you don't have much chances so we have next game already started and we have another player another low rated player among the leaders i am going to follow uh the player and see his games once again please 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 uh share um the name of the player you would like to see the game uh and if i don't see it and if i don't react with that please share that once again because there are so many comments and i can give it up um i'm trying to read all of it but it's quite um challenging okay okay we're um, following kiss mate kiss mate where are you kiss mate there we go so Kismet has 14 points out of 18 and he is among leaders. He's among leaders. Let's check out who is Kismet. Uh, this position is, uh, according to my calculations, black has an extra pawn. Um, C4, oops, can be taken. I think C4 was a blind. Uh, yeah that's really really um dangerous here for white d4 d4 don't don't give up that pawn don't give up that pawn no don't give up that pawn okay maybe we can see the game uh hikaru and eric let's see let's see maybe they will make some um extraordinary things on the board let's check this out so what to move it's eric to move um and he plays rook e1 the king is still in the center white uh, black needs two moves to uh until the castle and then no one knows what happens after g4 bishop e5 was played here this um this looks interesting actually i'm not sure if he's going to capture this knight um no he's not coming just place this maybe he wants to play bishop here and then knight here on f6 just to have a more active bishop on e5 that's what he wants he has edge of time on time and i think that's um what he's just um pushing for just to play normal moves not to blunder and win on time because there is almost one minute uh, difference between those two players on time. Bishop e5, back! Back! Alright, now f6 will be met by f4 and this bishop will be lost. So, the... the is this a draw? Is, is the draw not yet? It's like two times only. Two times repetition a3 okay now it's not gonna be draw anymore <laughs> okay this is this is really good the bishop on c3 looks better seriously bishop e5 this is so annoying i'm sure this is really really annoying for white white can never get rid of this bishop can i push a4 here c4 okay this is really interesting i would i would prefer here to play with uh with white for sure uh, for example after capturing the uh okay king c2 no not much deal with that pawn so my point is that we're getting this knight on c3 and we can target this pawn at some point king c2 come on play king c2 very good very good and after this rook comes here mm. yeah look Knight d4 was not that good, I think. King c2 here is much better, much, much better. Uh, 
Now, when G pawn drops, the position is not that clear now anymore. And now D pawn uh, falls. Hmm. Uh, knight before, knight before, rook b8, and rook d4 was there, so it was not winning. This is really interesting for the oh blunder, blunder. <laughs> Very unpleasant. I think White had really really good chances in this game, but no time. Time is very important as well. So next game started. Let me check if we have something uh interesting. I think this is really interesting position. Uh, here, uh, White actually went to capture b7 pawn. I think this position is from uh, Slav defense, where uh, White captures on b7, and usually it's quite, quite dangerous, um, because the king has no time to castle, and Black's pieces are all developed. Let's see now what will happen. According to the bar, it says that black has an advantage. <gasps> what? <laughs> Seriously? E4 here, maybe? No. Why not E4? I think E4 was on the board. Oh, it can be checked. E4 was not on the board. Okay. How come that this bar says that it's draw? Mate in four, mate in four. One second move. Okay, mate in two. Is I think he will, he will, he will go for it. Queen c one. Next move is a mate. If king goes here or here. If king goes here, then uh, queen c two. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's why it's really, really, really challenging to capture b seven point in Slav defense as we saw as well. Uh, let me check another interesting position if we have... Um... Oh, this is really interesting. This is really interesting. Here we have a uh, sacrifice here on, C on h7. And I think g6 is the next move. g6 and h6. No one knows if black can survive there. Queen h4 slows down the um, attack, and it's not the best here. So we are following. Um, we are following who? Gcm Rainer, I think. Yes, we're following him. He has fourteen and half points. Um. Knight is hanging, knight d3. Uh, Black just went for this uh, queen exchange and also I think bishop f6 in that position was quite okay or bishop d6. But this is this is good, this is good. Next move will be bishop f6 just to simplify a little bit more. There's not a danger anymore on the king side. Um, h6, there we have on the board h6 on the board jobby we have to check out jobby's game next we have to check out jobby's game next uh let me check it quickly who is he's playing with exotic princess i don't see exotic princess anymore he's not playing he's not playing now we'll get back when he starts to play probably he's um he's resting a bit Chess Queen Fritzi, 2600, a chess player from Germany. So here White has a pass pawn on the uh, Queen side, and I think that's um, that's the reason why why White has um, edge here. But both players have very 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 few time on the clock, some seconds already. They are just making moves, just pre moves. Yeah, there we go next free move and here white won the game this is quite logical because she had actually a time advantage as well uh so if if 
our exotic princess is playing please let me know and i will quickly jump in his game okay i see he he has uh 12 points out of 16. um Okay, searching for uh, interesting positions I got in here. This game was ended. Uh, okay, black one here. It just ended on at the moment I clicked on it. <laughs> at that moment when I clicked. So this is next game Hikaru and Hase playing against each other. Uh, black king is really exposed here. Um, the material is equal but pawns are so weak and here we have the first pawn is gone. Now Black's hope is to get in the rook end game, maybe. Um, okay, now rook end game is not an option anymore. Uh, soon we will have time issues here, time trouble. So we're gonna see a lot of free moves. We're gonna see tons of free moves here. Can White actually checkmate this thing? Yeah, there we go. Hikaru won. Um, I think he has 100%. Yeah. Oh, no. 16 points out of 17. Was it two draws or he lost it? Uh, Job is playing, but we're not with a title player, really. Uh, let me quickly see that. I don't know if you guys hear this. Prob I hope you don't hear this, but my computer is like ah uh, screaming. I don't know what's happening really. It was not before. Maybe it's too much chess for him. Um Exotic Princess, let's go, let's follow him. I love Joby's um job streams i hope you guys uh follow his streams uh he's so funny especially when he starts <laughs> cameras and dances this is really really funny okay he's playing let's go let's check his games um 2400 yeah he's playing 2400 and the position is interesting the position is really really interesting black has here extra pawn and we have Bishop versus bishop and queen versus knight and queen. I think in this case, bishop and queen might put up some fire. If the bishop somehow, somehow magically goes here and here on this uh, on this diagonal, um, and queen also gets uh, on d6 and put up the battery, I think that's winning. Another easy, easy way to win is to trade the queens if white agrees on that, of course. Queen e4, here comes. Uh, Queen b1 and take on b2. Queen b1, take on b2. There we go. Okay, this is good. Uh, he streams on his channel. Um, you guys remember what's the name of his channel? I just follow him and it just pop, pops up. I think uh, James Blonder or something like this. <laughs> he streams almost every day. Almost every day. And... If you are lucky to be awake <laughs> at the time when he dance, <laughs> there is there is something. So now if queen takes on c3, then will be queen f5 uh, check, and here this gonna be uh, check uh, repetition three times, and the game will might end on in a draw. So he is controlling light squares, so there will be no checks, and he has extra three pieces uh, pawns. So now next will be. Bishop uh, back on f6 and pawns will roll. Pawns will roll. And no one will stop. James Blunder, yeah, that's what I remembered. Yeah, you, you guys, you guys have to have to see it. You guys have to see it. <laughs> what happened to the guy who was leading? Um that's a good question the guy who was leading is is a long it's here it's still here um but we have new 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 guy here okay joby won that game uh this is the new guy here uh let me check 
So we have plenty of games to follow uh, and I am checking the most interesting one. I think this is the most interesting one at this point. Uh, so white has really strong um, setup on the uh, H file and this pawn is target. Also F6 pawn is really, really uh, strong. Now knight G6 was a threat. So knight E5 is defending this threat and looks really nice here. Knight that looks really nice. I don't like that. Rook h4 comes probably to attack here. Yeah, both knights are just amazing. Uh, white knight here cuts the rook to defense h7. Uh, also attacks on g6 and black knight just defending this g6 pawn. Aram? <laughs> Aram, hi, Aram. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Uh, so Aram is uh, another streamer on the channel Let's Chess Live where I stream and he just woke up probably and he just joined the stream. Hello Aram. <laughs> hi, hi, hi everybody. The guy who was ahead of Hakaru was banned? Really? He was cheating? Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Hello Luke! Oh, we have we have squad here. Let's just live squad is here. I'm so happy. I am so so happy. So this is a game uh chess queen Alexandra versus Rachidu. I stopped there. Uh, I'm not good with reading the names. Um let me quickly find some more interesting games. Um So that's actually really interesting to know the uh, statistics, how many players will be banned after this arena. <laughs> Do you guys have a wild guess? So many, right? Yeah. Seven, only seven. I think I think more than seven, to be honest. Unfortunately, more than seven, I guess. Yeah. On the other hand, there will be maybe there is some disconnect because mm, not everyone has a stable internet, so. Yeah, let's 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 not blame people for for cheating. I think it's even worse <laughs> to blame people without knowing it. Like myself, I had some issues with internet for many tournaments, and I was just like, you no, know, disappearing from the event. Maybe it's the case as well. So, um, okay, let's let's focus on the games. Why we are on this game? I don't know. I don't know why we are here. Uh, maybe you can take a look at the, the game of Hikaru here. Hikaru with white pieces with extra pressure, but uh, quite challenging. I think we got at the right place. We got at the right place. So this is bishop for three pawns. We know that bishop costs three pawns. At least they teach us so. Um, and the pawn is almost promoted here on b2. Um, let's see, let's see. Quite hard here to play with exposed king, like on c2. And also, uh, black is t like one minute forty seconds ahead, according to my maths. <laughs> Again, guys. Okay, once in ten minutes, I have to pronounce my last name, right? <laughs> <laughs> once in 10 minutes i think i have to pronounce my maybe 20 minutes so my last name is quite challenging to pronounce but it's really really easy because first part and second part is almost the same so it's tata lashvili and my name is quite easy to 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 say it's just K. so he got a one here in this uh game uh because he he just got b2 pawn and yeah without b2 pawn there will be no um 
Okay, he started next game. This one ended. Let me check some other players as well. Um, hmm, maybe this one we can stop. I thought it was really interesting game position, but the 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 truth is that Black here has advantage, big advantage, of course, because of this extra pawn. No single weakness, and even the end game end game is really really good to play here for Black. All right, still looking for interesting game, still. Maybe this is this is the one. Uh, white to move, and white resigned here because there is no way, no way to defense queen g two or queen h two check. And this is really interesting game. Let's let's see it from the from the beginning. So we have here f3, oh, f3 I have not seen this move, and queen h4 goes for some uh, more checks and weaknesses, uh, and we have this, oh, maybe it's a theory, I don't know, I've never seen a free third move, uh, but uh, the position is quite unusual to have uh, long side castles from both players, this is not this is not often happening uh, but it's just the beginning and still there is not any single weakness for none of the position somehow i would prefer here to play with black colors because i see that it's quite easy to play here just push d5 and because of this pawn structure i might with black pieces start to push more like after d5 it takes and e4 something like this so c3 was played, I think white is also preparing um, d4 move, and knight a3 is the only move here. Yeah, white has also an issue to develop the pieces uh, on the king side, and we know that it's quite important to develop all the pieces, otherwise you play without three pieces uh, versus all the pieces, because black is already uh, perfectly well developed here. And uh, now this can be a target, maybe rook will be doubled on the uh, file. Um, and and just to play. Yeah, interesting. Um, <laughs> next game that we can uh, follow, that's going to end soon. This is interesting. Let's quickly get in here before resignation. <laughs> before resignation, here black has a winning position according to the bar. I see, I see this rook is extra. One of the rook is an extra here. Probably white sacrifice here and it did not work. It did not work. Okay. Uh, still, there are some, 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 some chances here. Maybe queen here, queen here. Who knows? Let's keep this game. Uh, there was also uh, also my question why uh, why Black resigned in Hikaru's last game, uh, but I think because he lost b2 pawn, and he had an extra piece. Hikaru had an extra piece, so maybe maybe that's why the opponent resigned in that position. Okay, rook takes queen e5, king goes h7. And there, there is a need of light square bishop. There is a need of light square bishop to jump on e4 and to check. There's no more checks here. Is one more check. And after, okay, okay, you can't even capture this. Okay, makes sense. That's the whole point of this position. Here, black has um, big advantage. Also, one time, Eric will win this game for sure. Right. Um, next game. Okay, let's uh, check out Hikaru's uh, game. We have 32 minutes, just only 32 minutes to go. No, no, no. 
<laughs> we have to stop the time. We need to see more games. We have to see. So far, which one is your favorite, which we checked? I'm thinking which one is my favorite. Um, hard to remember, though. Hard to remember because we saw so many, so many games and some of them was really nice. Some of them was really, really nice. Black has minus four here. Really? Okay, it's an extra pawn here, and yeah, these pawns. Okay, let's let's see this before it disappears. The pawns are unstoppable to 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 win so much really here. The bishop is lost because of the pin, and white really could not uh, save the game from that uh, threat. All right, this is interesting. Hikaru versus twenty uh, hundred player. Big Liz, Big Liz. Ooh, <laughs> Big Liz is a big coming here and playing against Hikaru. Let's check it out. So White got a pawn. How that happened? Can we see that? Defy. Ah, he didn't capture back. Oh no, oh no. So, okay, that's that's interesting, but here I think Black still has some things to, you know, to go on. Um Black has I think better development and a little bit more active pieces. Let's see. Uh can I capture this in 95 maybe? Uh yes, that's what we have. That's my that's why my rating is 2100 that I'm giving up the visions like that. But anyway, the pawn structure is also very important. Ninety-three Shaq and White is not going to give up the bishops that easily. Ninety-six. Okay, now I think White has no no problems white will just um just win this maybe just uh simplify position more like rook takes d8 rook takes d8 and then rook d1 um also give it, uh, having more space on the queen side um is a good idea i guess mas mas let's follow him as well another leader of the um arena okay hikaru has this uh better position i think he will win this uh without any uh challenges let me quickly uh review other games if we have something interesting i think this is really interesting I think this is really interesting. The uh, rating diff gap between those two players are so big, uh, but it also means that uh, here uh, National Master with Black Pages has really really good tournament, but has to uh, resign here because of because of after this maybe H two and Rook H eight. Um, let's see the situation so far Hikaru is leading the event with 20 points out of uh, 21 uh, 20 games out of 21 and his total points is 74 and then we have Kissmate Kissmate is still among the leaders let's check out how he's doing here his rating is 700 700 Kismate, where are you? I can't see you. Okay, he won the game. He won this game. Very nicely. Okay, where is the queen? Oh, we have to take a look at this. Okay, 
it disappeared but it was it was really really good one it was really good one we saw it with back uh, backwards but it was really good one trust me um hmm. let's take a look at this i think this gonna end soon white has checkmate in 14 moves uh and it is black to play black plays rook g7 that's out of desperation i think rook g7 um now what black's hope is if white captures this knight with a queen that's gonna be checkmate for black why not to try why not to try uh, the best uh chess queen versus Mo masmos masma masmos is one of the leaders right oh wait they ended also okay let's focus maybe let's focus on one let's focus on one because we're just seeing the end uh and we're getting out of the picture so maybe let's focus on this one and i hope it's not ending soon so this is exotic princess and arkady chernobrovkin and there is not made in four moves so we can keep here longer um yeah in these cases guys uh black did not capture this pawn which is really really smart because this uh pawn might be also a shoulder for you like there's no more checks and no open file so don't take this kind of pawns when there are queens and rooks on the board you can capture that at any moment in the end game so you just keep it going to play uh this pawn is uh very good for you uh as a shelter so here the question is what this knight can do knight is transferring on d4 this looks um nice one um aha the three pawn was not hanging because of knight b5 and now this this pawn is very active the pawn is very active. the two pawn was not uh is untouchable because knight f3 queens uh some material there and now we have this position uh oh i don't think here white uh, black has some some counterplay in this position queen is really really strong queen is really strong and there are too many pawns no check queen f3 only way here to um to to try something queen e1 and queen f2 maybe no okay white is ready to get this king here yeah that's that's smart actually to get king on the queen side queen d6 is coming yeah we're gonna see here uh a victory of exotic princes and there we go okay i'm not i'm not looking for some interesting game which will end soon or should i go still okay one well, let's try let's try this one so this is one of our leaders his mate is one of our leaders who is actually winning this game as well uh against an opponent with 200 rating oh 200 i have never seen a player with 200 it's like yeah this is really interesting um so there there is mate in more uh foremost you guys see it we have resignation we have a resignation 23 minutes to go um masmos is still a leader we have to follow him masmos let's go this is masmos a player from iran is that iran yeah iran um grandmaster from iran uh, all right here we have this position this kind of pawn structure we might have from many 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 openings uh from slav defense from uh um Karukan, i think as well from queen's gambit as well um yeah but the most important is that to 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 check out what is happening now in here uh so i think black is really dominating the board knight on d5 controls everything and uh this bishop is so strong here mm, asking for a trade 
If bishop takes, then pawn takes, and then this knight also will get c4, really, really good square. And on the other hand, to uh, get rid of this bishop, which, you know, targeting kid, king at some point um, is really good idea. So I really like this bishop um, b5. Uh, but on the other hand, it also gave a chance white to target this uh, pawn. Let's see, let's see how white will play here. Um, Knight c5 is an is is a move here. Queen d1. I am not sure about this move. Oof. Okay, is is he targeting this? Maybe queen d4 and capture on h4, h6. Yeah, maybe this is happening. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too much <laughs> to sacrifice a bishop because white doesn't have much pieces on the board to checkmate the opening then. Knight takes c5. Yeah. I don't know, I still like Black's position. Hikaru is playing Eric, so you guys want to jump jump in it? Yeah, we can actually jump in it because here white has some issues also. Uh but 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 um white has really time advantage here. At some point I thought that Black forget it was his move. It happens to me sometimes that I'm waiting for my uh, opponents to make a move. Actually, he made a move some time ago and I'm still waiting for it. That's how I'm losing my games usually. <sighs> okay, uh, Hikaru and Eric, that's the game that we should not miss. That's the game we should not miss. Okay, let's do it. Knight g4, knight f6. Oof. Why not knight f6? Knight h6. And here we have this position. Eric, you are playing. You are playing with fire. You are playing with fire with knight. Uh, moves like knight h six. Um, so the king side pawns are destroyed here, but black has uh, the pair of bishop. I think to capture the bishop and at some point get the knight on e four. That's that's really something. That's really something. Like this knight versus uh, bishop. I think knight is way much better piece for example in this end game um yeah knight is perfect piece here next will be rook b7 rook will get on the seventh rank this pawn is also something that uh white um white has an edge off and now this pawn is dropping all right and then a7 pawn will be dropped and the pawn is really pushed the pawn is really pushed I think white white has here very very good chances to win. Are you guys like this chess board? I like it too. I like it too. The chess pieces of that board is really nice. It looks like um actual uh people. <laughs> and they are really beautiful. So here we have a sacrifice, knight sacrifice. Was it a sacrifice? Because I missed that. <laughs> I missed that. Okay, I think it was a sacrifice. And here, um, white is just one move behind of Quinin. So here we have a victory of Hikaru. Yet another victory. He has 23 points out of 24. Did he lose or he made two draws? That's the question that I still... Uh, right, we can check, check, check some interesting uh, games. So the situation for now um, is that Hikaru is leading the event. Then Masmos97 is um, following him um, very, very close. And then we have uh, Kissmate who has really good chance to get main prize and also to get uh, the prize in two categories. Um, yeah, Bright Lonely is someone new that we have not seen earlier. And Exotic exotic Princess is also coming. I hope, I hope you will be among the leaders, this Georgian. Thanks, we have. Um, any suggestions? Maybe we can keep, keep looking this game. Hikaru is playing 2400 um, player. Uh, and the pawn is on g6. The question is how the pawn got on g6. 
you guys see it, I guess. With h4, h5, and then capture, right? <laughs> so the, okay okay uh, if i play next event next uh arena kings with my rating 2100 somebody might say that i dropped my rating to play here but actually i dropped it it actually dropped we don't know it we don't know how people are getting in here but the most important is to you know to uh, spend really good time with chess uh and to learn like i really recommend everyone after each of your game to uh, to analyze it with computer or just to take a look sometimes we're playing uh, a game and we have no idea that we blundered something so it's really good to take a look afterwards what was that a sacrifice no just exchange just an exchange 60 more minutes to go and uh you guys can see a lot of players have uh 60 plus uh points so they have really really good chances all of them have really good chances to get in top three all right so this is uh pretty much um advantage here for black um i think end game is really good but he doesn't want to go there doesn't want to go end game yet. Knight is getting on d5 really active. Knight will get this square and white to get in end game when you can still fight against this king, which is quite weak. I think it's quite weak. A rookie one maybe. Rookie one. Knight e3 next move. Uh, queen here here. This looks really really nice for black. Yeah, this looks really nice. H4. Can we capture it? Yeah, um, the thing is that I don't really see the whole point of pushing this h4 pawn. I don't know what was the idea of it. Like, he could do the same without pushing it, right? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> that was the whole point. That was the whole, whole point to take this f4 pawn. I'm sure he saw this in advance. I'm sure he saw this in advance. Um, all right. 15 seconds on the board and knight and the rook are hanging but here we have rook c2 check another check king g7 defending g uh g6 knight and now what knight a oh, queen f6 just like that oh queen f6 no fair there is a check made on f1 all right good game really really good game um Another game that we have to take a look is this one. We have to take a look at this. Jose against Twitch TV Suski team. What is happening? Where the queen? Where, where is the queen? Queen is gone for like forever. <laughs> oh, 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 we have to take a look at this. So this one and white just got the queen here with G4. Oh my God. What? Wow, this is a nice idea. This is the idea we have to remember. This is the idea we have to remember. Okay, then it makes sense to sacrifice this. Huh? Rook on A1? I think it was a mouse slip, right? <laughs> then on B1. Alright, we have this position. So, here we have uh, Rook or rook and the knight for a queen yeah rook and the knight for a queen king is really exposed i think if uh white managed somehow to get this queen on d file maybe next move um mm, i don't know i like to the queen to be in front of the rook to create some checks huh? What's that? he's giving up the rooks like She's giving up these tricks just like, you know, you, you just sacrifice pawns. What's happening here? Okay, takes on a5. Now I think black has some something to play for. 
No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. That was really cool. King d7. No, rook comes back. Okay, if somehow black managed to develop the bishop and get this bishop at this um, diagonal safely, okay, then is this winning? Is this winning? The thing is the truck is so so out of the game and these two pieces are just not coordinating but okay now everything is fine rook t4 rook a4 come on no not this one okay rook a4 was queen a8 and capturing here so that's what black uh, avoids and now there will be rook a4 <gasps> hello hello alex hello good to see you here wow this game i think white will have a lot of regrets here to sacrifice so many times <laughs> so many pieces i think white will have a lot of regrets and he has actually one minute of 40 seconds right now on the clock and he was playing so fast maybe he's playing on time okay time is also important that's what i forgot to, to mention now rooks will start the rolling here check on a3 is the next move Rook b3 now then. Rook b3 check. Alright. Yeah, three seconds. You guys think that uh black can play this position for three three seconds? I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible. <laughs> you thought it was a less chess? No, 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 no. We are streaming at uh, chess.com and I kind of hope that we are restreaming it on less chess. Let me check it quickly. Uh, and this is the game. This is the game Jose versus um, Badur. Last 10 minutes to go. Last 10 minutes to go. Time is flying so fast. Yeah, we're hosting Chesscom. We're hosting Chesscom. This is good. So this current situation now, before 10 minutes, before the end, uh, we have uh, Hikaru is leading with uh, 90 points. And um, I think there's no chance that uh, Masmos can catch up Hikaru. So I think he, he pretty much guaranteed the first place already. Masmos and Kismate I'm really impressed with uh with this guy. I'm really really impressed with this guy. He's playing really good and Joby is already on seventh place uh and Shining Ash to some places. He can get some uh, some top three maybe. Um if there is a game that you you would like to be concentrated, let me write it or I will find something. Um mm -hmm. Blunder with the queen? After party at, at Let's Life? I'm I'm on. I'm on. Let's do party. Let's do party at Let's Life. <laughs> I will be streaming. Yeah, we can do some arena maybe. Um I and also Aram is awake, so we can do that. Yes, let's party. Um <laughs> so we have this position. Um again, two players with 2900 uh are playing for already like one of the last games i think we're gonna see this game and two more maximum two more not more um so we have this position white i think white has some edge here because of the pawns uh and activity uh and black has this uh position crocodile position i call it crocodile position just waiting 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 and then if white makes a mistake then it will come and attack the opponent uh, so let's see how white will um, continue uh, I would like here to play something like king g2 maybe rook h1 um, or maybe f5 maybe f5 
We have to push this pawn at some point. G6. Yeah, G6 looks really nice. Um, we have also Hikaru next game. Let's check this out. Yeah, we'll be uh, we will be staying on the leaders now because we have just the end of the event. So that's gonna be Hikaru and Masmos. Who is playing against Masmos? Okay, this game is also interesting. We can take a look at this after this one. Alex Rustemov is the opponent of Hikaru with white pieces and he has a bit of the edge as we can see according to the bar. Um, and yeah, probably probably here uh, white has really good position but um, the, yeah, time is not so good here for white so I really uh, recommend here white to play really fast. Bishop a3, come on, play fast. Rook c1 next. Free move. Yeah, maybe it's not. It's too early to start free moves uh, when you have one minute and forty seconds on the clock. But I'm panicking when I have a less time than my opponent. Still, white has an edge. What is the secret of that? Why white has an edge? Because of active pieces and the black's king's position. Although I don't know, this pawn structure here is. Uh, always really good for uh, white in, uh, for black in the end game because king is almost checkmated. King is almost checkmated. Oh, Joby lost the game, so the one way that we were uh, looking at, he lost the game, king g1. Oh, that's so nice, that's so nice. The rook is not hanging, it was a trap. If white takes, black takes, white takes on c8 and there is a checkmate on f1. That's why here white goes for rook g1, a uh, king g1 to, you know, defense that. Exa that. That's exactly what I was saying earlier, like these pawns, this pawn structure, especially this pawn on h3, uh, creates so much... Uh, huh? <laughs> what? What? Same story. Yeah, same story. Okay, if uh, any move, queen c2, rook c2 will be... Um, okay, let me get this rook here somehow. <laughs> will be queen e1 checkmate. Ah. Oh. And also queen g2 is um, is a checkmate. Uh, white cannot, 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 cannot defense this. So we're going to have resignation here soon. Uh, who is the next? Who is the next? Hikaru is, is absolutely different level. We know that. Yes, I agree with that. So here we have a checkmate. Um, do you guys think that he will play last game four minutes before the end? Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, no, he's not. It's not him. It's not him. Okay. 90, 98 points. 98 points. <laughs> this is amazing. He played 27 games and got 26 points. And we have masmos 97 he played 29 games and got 24 points yeah i think that's most played games yeah okay uh let's see uh some uh, leaders some more of the leaders oh chess meraki this is this, i know him from our uh chat um last three minutes right let me get something hikaru is not playing hikaru is not playing yeah maybe masmos and uh chess meraki let's let's see this um if hikaru plays we can also go back and see his game um so what is this position it the bar says that it's equal um yeah 
if none of the side makes a move, then the game will be end without a result. <laughs> So what are we checking? Something exciting, something really, really exciting. Is it happening? Um, maybe, 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 maybe what? Kissmate, Kissmate is, is playing, is playing this one. He's top three, are you kidding? And he's winning this, wow. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. I see Eric. I see Masmus. I see um, um, Chess Queen playing. Yeah, let's, let's keep this one. Let's keep this one. One minute and 40 seconds until the end of the uh, um, arena. Yeah, definitely I will play this arena next time. Definitely I will play. I like this uh, tournament very much. So here we have um, Resignation. And they quickly play another game. I see, I see, I see. They want to play as much as possible. And I'm so confused. I don't know where to stop. Leaders are not playing. Masmos is playing. Okay, let's, let's, let's stop it. Hikaru stopped playing, right? He's not playing anymore. Last minute to go. Last minute to go and um, Chess Meraki versus Masmus. We have this position. White has an extra pawn and Peruf Bishop. It should be winning here, but the question is if they can finish the game before the end of the um, uh, Arena Kings. <laughs> That's the main question here. So uh, also, opposite color of Bishop is still winning, I guess. It's still winning. Um, <gasps> Oh, what? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's my friend is online chess. Ten seconds. Before the end, 10 seconds before the end. I think nothing will change. I think nothing will change. And two seconds, one second. And here we have the end of Arena Kings. So he, here we have amazing result, amazing result of Hikaru. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of like this. So he got, they're still playing? What? How come they can still play? <laughs> All right. Um, Anyway, we can keep talking about this, that Hikaru got the first place in the call medal. Uh, so he got 26 points out, out of 27 games. And then we have Masmus and Kissmate. Right. You guys, how come that they are still playing? That's interesting. That's it. One bonus game. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Let's have some bonus games. Um, so this is a game, uh, Alexandra Kostnuk and there is fly in my room. There is a fly in my room. It's not arena. Okay. Good to tell me. Good. To, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for that. So otherwise I would keep talking about this move, um, uh, game. So yeah. Okay. Okay, so it was perfect. It was my first arena that I uh, saw, where I saw so many participants, more than 1,000 participants. I never have these <laughs> big arenas, but it's okay. Uh, you guys, uh, if you would like, you can join our uh, channel, Let's Just Live. You can follow. We are three streamers and we stream almost every day. I hope you enjoyed this arena. Let me check once again and talk about the prizes that we had at this um, event. So the total prize fund was $700 and the winner got $200. Second place gets $150. Third place gets $100. And there are special prizes under $2,000, under $1,600 and under 1,200 players as well. 
and there is also a prize for best streamer uh next week we have royal arena kings and that's gonna be more prize fund as you can see the total prize fund is six thousand dollar and the first place will get five hundred um so yeah um that that's it that's it the um season six uh the prize fund total prize fund is twenty thousand dollars for arena kings and definitely this will be um something that i will be joined from next week i know it's a bit late but that's okay that is very okay uh and also we have title tuesdays i don't play title tuesdays for a while because when i started to stream it was so hard for me to to do it like to stream and to play but then i understood that uh no one judged me for my quality of play <laughs> <laughs> and i can just play so yeah thank you guys so much for being here with me i had really good time i had really really good time with you and i hope you enjoyed as well and uh you you learned a lot of ideas a lot of tactical motives and i hope um you will come at arena kings uh next week um and i hope that you enjoy to play chess at chess.com uh yeah that's it that's it um i will say goodbye to you s soon um you judge with my yeah i know i know you judge you judge people you judge me with my last name <laughs> and the name of my channel i know that <laughs> i know that thanks miss t this is new name this is so cute miss t <laughs> This is so, so cute. I, sh I think I should change my name. I think I should change my name um, to Miss T. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for being with me and I hope you enjoyed And Now it's time to say goodbye and I hope to see you around. Hope to see you around. At least we'll see each other on my channel, Let's Just Live. And have a good night and um, yeah, cheers. Bye-bye.